Hello everybody and welcome to Sin City Living. My name is Jason. I'll be bringing you today's episode. Now I've been trying to get away from doing the, uh, the intros but I haven't had a whole lot of success with that so I'm going to have to go back into doing that again but I'm going to try and keep this as short as I possibly can. I apologize for, uh, for how infrequently we've been posting videos the last few weeks. been working a whole bunch of extra shifts and then I went in and had, had uh, eye surgery so I've been recovering from that and still am. But hopefully within the next couple of weeks, we're going to get back to our usual routine of having a, a decent number of videos coming out for you guys, especially all those exclusive videos for our patrons. We're really trying to focus on, on giving you guys some awesome content. So for anybody that is interested in that, just go ahead and check the description of the video down below. And I've had, had quite a few questions, uh, even though we've had this system in place for a little while, quite a few questions on how you can... Uh, how how our fans can tip us or show appreciation to us and you can buy us a cup of coffee. We, uh, we set up uh, a, um, a quote unquote tip jar for that. Uh, again, just check the description of the video down below if you're curious about that. Um, otherwise, you know, hope you guys are enjoying things. Please email us with anything strategies you would like to see, questions you may have, videos you would like to see, if you would like to see us do the true crime stuff again, or or just uh, the mob stories on Vegas, or the history of Vegas, or restaurants, um, anything you might like to see see uh, see from us, please shoot me an email, uh, sincitylivinglv at gmail.com. We'd love shooting this stuff for you guys. Otherwise, we're going to jump right into today's video. Variant strategies. Variant strategies to some of the more common ones. And this one is dealing with strategies we had called before the uh, Twin Pyramids. Uh, some people called it Twin Towers. Um, or uh, other people play it that don't really have a name for it, which a lot of the strategies don't actually have names for them. In fact, most strategies don't really have names for them. The Iron Cross does, uh, despite the fact that it's one of the weakest strategies. And uh, for the uh, for our patrons, the exclusive video will definitely do some live rolls with all three of these strategies to uh, just kind of show how they go. And uh, yeah, we'll have some other exclusive content as well for our patrons. So if you're interested in that, just check the video down below. Otherwise, let's take a look at this. So I'm going to get rid of the puck because this particular strategy or this uh, these two strategies, because it is two, are uh, are all based on on place bets, the most common strategy and uh, are independent of the point. Some people may do a lot of these strategies while placing the pass line. I actually do see some people place the pass line and then end up placing the point anywhere, not, or pay the, play the pass line, not, not place it, um, and then end up placing the point anyway because maybe they have to play the pass line in order to shoot, but they still want to have their main strategy up. So we'll look at this as if we're playing on a $10 table. You can modify it for $15 tables, $25 tables, whatever it may be. And this, these strategies only work for, for um, not buy-ins, but investments per shooter that are above the table minimum. Uh, if you're just doing the table minimum, then you just do the standard 64 across, including the point, or 96 across, or 160, whatever, whatever table minimum you are playing. But we want to look at what if you're playing more than the table limit. And uh, by the way, please email us some uh, strategies, questions. We love shooting videos based on what you guys send us. And I've actually gotten one email in the last two weeks. So please email us. So let's look at, we set a $10 minimum bet table. So what would be a decent, uh, decent strategy or buy-in investment per shooter above that? Let's say 160. So if you're going to play $160 across, including the point, you're, you're betting the same level per all numbers, right? You're betting five units per number. Now, your minimal bet is two units per number, so you can't go below that. But you're betting five units per number. And the thing about this is that you have the same number of units to each number, even though each number does have a different chance of rolling. Now, of course, since they pay differently, it kind of makes up for it, but some people prefer to play to really target what has the most frequency in rolling. Now, as we know, a seven has six ways of rolling. A one in six chance out of the 30 combinations of the dice, seven will come six times out of that. But if we remove that, figure, okay, that's the losing roll, that wipes everything out, what's left? We have 30 combinations of the dice left. Amongst those 30 combinations of the dice, 10 of them reside right here. 
one in three chance of an, in a non-losing role, you have a one in three chance of one of these numbers coming. You have uh, eight chances of these coming, which gives you what a four in fifteen chance of a non-losing number. I mean, a little bit better than a one in four chance. And then you've got six ways for these numbers to come. So, what if? And I do see some people play this. What if you decide you want to take your 160 and play it out a little bit different? Oh, my hands are getting small. There we go. You want to have the same amount invested, but you actually want to target the numbers that are going to have a higher frequency of rolling. So what you can do, maybe you go table minimum on the 4 and 10. Table minimum on the 4 and 10. If those roll, you're still going to get paid $18 to, to $19, depending on whether or not it's a buy at where you're at. And now, let's say you want to increase it up just a little bit more with the numbers that have a slightly more frequent chance of rolling. So you bump this up to, to 15. And now, what do you got left? Well, let's see here. Let's do it this way, even though we're about to change that right back up. Now right here you have $158, $2 shy of your $160 investment. But on these two numbers where with your $160 across you would make $35 per hit, this time around, you're going to make $63 per hit because you go $54 on these two numbers. Okay. Now over here, you would normally make $35 because you would have $25 bucks down, but instead you're only going to make $21. So you're going to make $14 less over here. But these two numbers that have the highest frequency of rolling are going to pay you the best. You're going to make $63 per. So one in three of your rolls, you're going to make $63. Now of course, you could bump this up a little bit higher or you could drop these down. You could even drop these down. and go for the full 60 over here. So you could do table minimum, table minimum, 60 bucks each. You have the exact same buy-in or investment that you would if you did 160 across. The numbers that are most common to roll, you're going to make $70 per number instead of 35. You're going to make twice as much the numbers that are most common to roll. However, you're going to make significantly less on the four, five, nine, and 10 on the outside numbers. Now you could pair this down anyway, just like I showed you. Do 54 each and do 15. And you could do uh, 48 each and do 20. You could do 48, 48, 20, 20, 10, 10 if you wanted to. 42, 42, 20, 20, 15, 15 if you wanted to. Make it a pyramid, right? which is why some people call it the uh, the pyramid, the pyramid strategy, the twin pyramids. Although the other version is not actually a pyramid. The other thing that you could do, you could co go in the opposite direction. Let's take a look. Let's give ourselves aces to work with. What if you went the opposite direction? Now, in this case, if you go the opposite direction, you're no longer looking at the most frequent payouts. Instead, you're looking for the largest payouts. Now, in this case, you're going the other direction. The numbers that are most frequent to roll, you're only going to make $15 per number, or $14 per number. Um, sorry, I'm always thinking of that drop a dollar down. Um, so the numbers that you're most, most likely to have roll one and three times out of the non-losing numbers, you're only going to make 14 now over here on the 5 and 9, you're going to make a little bit less if you do it at 25 or 20. You could do it at 25, so it's a wash. They would still make the $35 per roll, um, in which case then you'd only do 35 each on the 4 and 10. But if you go all the way up to 40, instead of the, the 25, 25 will make you 49. You put 40 down there, you're going to make 79. Right? It's an extra $30 every hit on the 4 and 10. So now instead of looking for the most frequent numbers to roll, you're looking for the numbers that pay you the most to be the ones that rolled. 
Either one are viable strategies. It's slightly different. They're variations off the place bets. And I see this. I see this a lot. Now, I don't see this as often as the initial setup, but sometimes I do. The problem with this as an initial setup is you really have to explain out to the dealer. When you drop 160 and say, give me 160 across, it's quick, it's easy, it's simple. Done. When you do it like this, you almost have to string bet it to really explain to the dealer what's going on. But once you've done it a few times, they'll figure it out. As long as you're consistent with how you play, this does become very easy. All strategies become very, very easy, as long as you are very, very, very consistent. Um, I actually know, so, know a couple people that will do something like a 74 across, including the point, where they'll, they'll do the two units across, but then they'll do three units on a four and 10. Of course, they have to explain that the first couple of times they play it, but then after that, as long as they're consistent with it, the dealers have it. So again, just some variations on what can be played. I hope you guys find this interesting, illuminating, enlightening, or at least just plain fun. Thank you everybody for watching and we will catch you next time. Bye now. Thank you everybody for watching today's video. And as promised, a little bit more detail on things that we are working on. So again, we want to, uh, we want to continue trying to expand the channel. We're really hoping to be add to be able to add roulette as soon as possible, and then some video kino, video slots, stuff along those lines. Um, unfortunately, it ate up almost all of our cash, um, paying off all of our bills during the month of January, January while we were down. And uh, now that the holidays have ended, um, YouTube's uh, payouts have dropped significantly. So uh, we're kind of treading water here. Uh, as far as all that goes, do have a lot of things we want to add, though. Not just those those things, those those additional games, and hopefully some carnival games and such such like that. But the live streams. The biggest problem right now with the live streams is with three jobs combined between the two of us. Four, if I include the the 20 to 30 hours a week I'm putting into the YouTube channel, um, it's very very difficult for me to have a day and time that I can commit to doing the live stream every single week because we also have our, our very young child to, to take care of. But I'm trying to figure that out. I'm, I'm thinking it's probably going to end up being on, on Monday nights or Tuesday afternoons or possibly both. I intend to do at least one live stream exclusively for our patrons and then another one on the YouTube channel. So possibly both, both days. Um, we also have a few other things that, that we really want to attempt to move forward on. I'm just running into to either time or skill set issues. I do want to eventually have a, a website going for us. Um, I did used to program websites a long, over a decade ago. A lot of things have changed and I just don't have that time. Um, and uh, not a whole lot of knowledge on the current state of, of um, building websites, hosting site, you know, what, what sites can host and, and uh, uh, how to build up, you know, the e-commerce stuff. So if anybody has any skill sets along those lines and would like to answer some questions uh, or just help us out, shoot us an email, sincitylivinglv at gmail.com. Um, also, I really hope to be able to start adding some some uh, fairly ex some exclusive stuff from Sin City Living, uh, logoed shirts, hats. I'm looking to get uh, custom dice made, even custom, custom layouts made, although those would be pretty expensive. Um, but... I know zero about e-commerce and drop shipping and uh, anything along those lines. So if you have any skill or knowledge in that area, please email me. Uh, I, would, I would love to ask you some questions and uh, see, if, uh, see if you can answer, answer a few to help me figure out how to get that going. Um, same thing with uh, with designing our logos. You know, I, I I had the logo had some logos designed, very very small logos, unfortunately, not big enough to blow up to put on T-shirts and stuff like that. And again, I know next to nothing. Not next to I know nothing about um, logo design, graphic design, any kind of websites that could that could do it. Um, I I literally know nothing. So if you have any skill or knowledge in that area, also please email me, and you're willing to ask, answer some questions, please. Email me and uh, and let me know. I uh, uh, I'll admit I don't even know where to start as far as asking some questions, but I'm sure I'll, I'll ask a few and that'll trigger a few more, so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, there's that, and and uh, of course we do hope to continue to improve our AV setup. But I am an AV moron, so also right there, if you have any skill sets or knowledge in that area please email me and, and are willing to answer some questions, please email me and, uh, and let me know. We would love the help. 
Uh, otherwise, again, thank you everybody for watching and we're very excited to continue bringing you our videos. Bye now.